up here. So I like to do some arcs with this transformer. I have it on this thousand pound furniture dolly and uh, I've been cribbing it with two by fours. Um, they used to slide in and out of there freely. Now they're well in there and these wheels spin with nothing to them so those things definitely overloaded i've been blowing some more stuff up earlier as you can see on the floor so 22,000 volts um since this transformer is rated for 19920 to ground for a 34500 system, um, I didn't ground this uh, tower here out. So I don't want to have you know the full 22,000 on one of these towers when they're rated for 19920. So I'll split them between 22,000 are fine. Tapped on high, of course. Got changer there. The only thing that's going to be holding uh, power back is this 1kVA transformer and it gets some pretty nice power going through it. And it's hissing away pretty good now as it's uh, powered on. Make sure to grab down here because you can still get a nasty shock off one of these even though they're not grounded. Just the capacitance in the core enough to uh, potentially kill you. All right, let's try one. circuit breaker to cool down. Keep in mind it's only at a 20 amp breaker. So. And that's at 120 volts unfortunately. I don't know if the camera's picking it up, but it's making a nice, very deep 60 hertz hum. circuit breaker and plug it just for safety and I've actually found that since this is not grounded let's see if I get a little static shock that when these are not grounded these actually hold a capacitance after you unplug everything, uh, there's like a capacitance still left, a little charge left in these uh, high voltage end, just because it's not really connected to anything. That's about it for this video. Catch you in the next one.